Hello friend, I am Tulsi Ram Shinde and today we will see what is critical clearing angle and how to find it by using equal area criteria. And then we will see some question. So let's start. To understand critical clearing angle and how to find it, I take one condition here. Condition is short circuit away from line ends. This is the end one and this is the end two. PM is the mechanical input for generator. E dash at an angle del. This is the electrical input. X3 dash is the transient reactance. X1 is the reactance of line 1. X2 is the reactance of line 2. V at an angle 0 is the electrical output. And we assume the angle of output power is reference angle. So this angle is 0 and this angle is del. And we know the formula for mechanical power. If your mechanical power is input for generator, then formula for mechanical power is E dash V divided by X into sin del. Del is a displacement angle of rotor of generator and X is the reactance of whole system. Now for the system, we draw this diagram. P1 is the pre-fault power, P2 is during fault power and P3 is post fault power. Before any fault occur in the system, the reactance is less, so we get P1 more. If suppose there is a fault occurring system, now reactance of system will be increase, but still some power will be flow through line 1, so we get some power and this is P2 during fault power. And after removing fault, that means by using simultaneous circuit breaker, we remove the line 2 from system. Now line 2 is isolate from system and now reactance is x3 dash plus x1 but still this reactance is more than healthy system so we get p3 much p3 less than p1 now output power is on y axis and del on x axis and this is the condition where mechanical power is equal to output power. Now if suppose there is a no any fault in our system and our mechanical power that means input power is equal to output power that means we are at the point A and now some fault occur in line 2 then our power will be shifted from point A to B and it will be increased on the curve of P2 because P2 is the during fault power and now at the point C we recover the fault by using simultaneous circuit breaker we remove the line 2 from system then our power will be shifted from point C to D and it will be increased till synchronous speed and it will co come back again and increase and decrease continuously and finally it will be stable at point K this is the accelerating area and this is the deaccelerating area now if suppose we fail to recover the fault at point C and we recover the fault at point L. Then after recovering the fault our power will be shifted from point L to EM. Then what happen? Now area A1 is greater than A2. That means according to equal area criteria if A1 is greater than A2 then our system will be unstable so to keep our system stable area a1 should be equal to a2 this is the critical condition area a1 should be less than a2 to stay to keep our system stable but this is the critical condition where a1 is equal to a2 then our system is stable and this is the value of del where system is stable after just up after the point C our system will be unstable so this is the critical condition and at that condition what is the value of delta this value is called as critical clearing angle and the, for the condition a1 equal to a2 we will, we will find what is the value of del and this value will be critical clearing angle so how to find it by using equal area criteria we will find now see how we can use equal area criteria to find the value of critical clearing angle according to equal area criteria A1 is equal to A2 to keep our system stable A1 should be equal to A2 and how to find A1 A1 is the area 
from del 0 to del CR so I will take integration from del 0 to del CR now I want distance from A to B so I will be, I will be subtract this small distance from total distance and total distance is PM so PM minus the small distance and the small distance at point B is instantaneous value of our P2 and it will be P max to sin del D del this is the area A1 now similarly area A2 from del CR to del max I will take integration from del CR to del max now we want distance d to n so I will first take total distance at point d is instantaneous value of p3 so it will be p max 3 sin del minus this distance and this distance is pm pm d del this is the area A1 and this is the area A2. After solving the integration, we will get cos del CR is equal to PM del max minus del 0 minus P max 2 cos del 0 plus P max 3 cos del max divided by P max 3 minus P max 2. But this value is a radian, so I will multiply here pi divided by 180. Remember one thing pi divided by 180 is only multiplied to pm del max minus del 0 now take all value of del 0 and del max in degree now we, after taking the cos inverse of whole term we will get del cr it is a critical clearing angle and del cr is equal to cos inverse of whole term and answer will be in degree and now to find the value of cos del CR we should know del max and del 0 so see how to find the del max and del 0 first of see how to find del 0 in term of P1 at the point A mechanical power is equal to PM is equal to instantaneous value of P1 so P max 1 sin del 0 sin del 0 from here we will get del 0 is equal to sin inverse of pm divided by p max 1 this is the important formula to solve the question now similarly how to find del max see now we want del max in term of p3 now here i will take one line from k2 here and i will mark del dash here see the diagram this distance is equal to this distance so i will write del max is equal to total distance pi minus this distance but this distance is equal to this distance from the diagram because this distance equal to this distance so total distance minus this distance and this distance is equal to this so i will write del dash now how to find del dash see at the point k pm is equal to instantaneous value of p3 so p max 3 sin del dash right at the point k pm is equal to p max 3 sin del dash from here del dash is equal to sin inverse of pm divided by p max 3 put the value of del dash here we will get del max is equal to pi minus sin inverse pm 
pm divided by p max 3 this is also important to solve the question to find critical clearing angle now we will see how to use these formulas to solve the questions and to find the critical clearing angle now see this is the first question a generator operating at 50 hertz delivers 1 per unit power to an infinite bus through transmission circuit in which a resistance is ignored a fault takes place reducing the maximum power transferable to 0.5 per unit whereas the before fault this power was 2 per unit and up, after the clearance of fault it is 1.5 per unit by the use of equal area criteria determine the critical clearing angle they ask find the critical clearing angle and what is given a generator operating at 50 hertz delivers 4 per unit 1 per unit power that means this is the input power so I will write PM is equal to 1 per unit now 1 per unit power to an infinite bus through a transmission circuit in which a resistance is ignored a fault takes place reducing the maximum power transferable to 0 0.5 per unit that means now fault takes place in our system and now our power is equal to 0 0.5 per unit and we know the power during fault is P2 P max 2 because in the graph we shift from point A to B and at point B the power is equal to P max 2 so P max 2 is equal to 0 0.5 per unit what is next whereas before the fault this power was 2 per unit and up after the clearance of fault it is 1.5 per unit that means before fault P max 1 is equal to 2 per unit and after the clearance of fault P max 3 is equal to 1.5 per unit this is the given and they ask by use of equal area criteria determine the critical clearing angle which we now see pm p max 1 p max 2 p max 3 these four values are given and they ask find del cr and we know the formula for del cr is equal to cos inverse pi by 180 pm del max minus del 0 minus p max 2 cos del 0 plus p max 3 into cos del max divided by p max 3 minus p max 2 all value are given but del max and del 0 are unknown so to find del 0 we know the formula del 0 is equal to sin inverse pm divided by p max 1 p max 1 So put the value sin inverse pm is 1 and p max 1 is 2 so sin 1 by sin inverse 1 by 2 that means del 0 is equal to 30 now del max is equal to pi minus sin inverse pm divided by p max 3 pm divided by p max 3 put the value we will get it is equal to 138.18 138.18 now all value are known so put the value of del 0 del max and pm p max 2 p max 3 p max 1 and find the value of del cr you will get del cr is equal to 70
डिग्री दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर